Hello my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly reading for December 2019. Alright, so this is going to be a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember if these messages don't resonate with you this month, well please check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus signs. You can also check out my weekly and my weekend readings, guys. I pull out, you know, the collective's energy in there. So maybe there might be a message in one of those videos for you. So check out my stuff below. Um, okay, so general overview of your energy that I'm picking up here. Okay, I feel like you are right now in a period of growth, Gemini. Why? I think that your spirit guides, your spirit is really uh, pushing you to shift your focus. Why am I saying that? Because we got the beautiful refocus card. Okay, so there is a switch, a change in direction, so to speak. So maybe you're being pulled or pushed to move in another way, in another direction. Okay, why? Because that's when uh, you you will feel more um, evolved and there will be more growth from this shift in direction. Um, also, there is some pride and ego that we are dealing with here. And I feel like maybe you are moving past dealing with characters, people, places, things that are all about pride and ego. Or maybe this might be you. Take it as it resonates. But I really feel like you're... You're moving past that type of vibration or trying to because look at the bottom of the deck. You're doing some shadow work. Shadow work is looking at ourselves in the mirror and seeing what needs to be healed, what needs to be uh, basically self-awareness, looking at ourselves and being like, okay, I need to work on this, this, and this. This is stemming from my childhood when this happened with this parent, with this family member, um, with this friend, you know, it's. The triggers that come up in the month of December allow for more shadow work, okay? So this is what's going on in the month of December as overall energy with you and the situation or your person. Um, so I, I'm picking up that this person that you are with is allowing you to do that shadow work, okay? So... Take it as resonant. Maybe it's someone that you haven't seen in a while. And look at the bottom of my personal deck that I am, that's under construction, as you can see. Karmic X. Past energy is lingering. So maybe this is what is um, triggering you, is things that are still lingering from the past that are really caught in your energetic field. Okay. Let's take a look at... Let's continue with this deck, yeah, being pulled towards this deck. If, for the ones who would like to know Mystic Moon Oracle, she is also a tower reader on YouTube. Check her out. She's beautiful. Purging, yes, you're purging that karmic ex situation or you're purging that past situation, whatever that is for you. So purging, it's transformational energy in the month of December for you, Gemini. What are you purging? Let's see. What is what are they purging? A union. Okay. So a, a partnership, a union for a lot of you. You're purging that. Something that didn't work out. Okay, let me get the um uh, shadow deck right in front of me here. Why do they have to purge this union? We're using the shadow twin flame shadows. Why do they have to that was fast? Someone made you feel like they, someone made you feel unlovable. Someone made you doubt yourself. Doubt. Unlovable. This is why you need to purge that energy. If this person did not put you in a good vibration. Yeah, this is some, I feel like I'm soon going to pick up on this projection type of energy. They're projecting that doubt and those fears onto you. And this is why they're asking you in the month of December to purge that connection, that union. Repelled. Pitiful. Someone gave up. Okay, 
someone completely gave up. But I'm also picking up on this energy that someone here... So basically I'm asking why do you need to purge this? So this person left you feeling doubtful, unlovable, like as if you couldn't be loved, you know? And um, there was like this repelled energy around this person. This person didn't want you around. That's why you didn't feel lovable. That's why there's unlovable in this card. So there's like this repelling, like there's like, no, get out. But I feel like whatever this person was telling you, it was all an illusion. Okay, someone here is disillusioned. Basically, this person manipulated you into thinking that you weren't lovable. Pitiful. Someone gave up. Again, I'm getting this pitiful energy. Someone who gave up. Someone who was repelled. Someone who was disillusioned. So I really feel like this person did not make you feel so great about yourself, did not allow you to step into your power at all. I mean, they're like the illusionists. They were like trying to play tricks on you. And, and in the end, they made you feel like nothing, you know, like they repelled. They, they had this repelling energy, like, ugh. They needed to stay away. And that's what makes made you feel abandoned. For what other reasons does uh, my Gemini need to purge this connection, please? Self-indulgent. This person might have just um, thought of their own needs. That's why they were they had an energy of repelled. Okay, self-indulgent. They only came in to get what they wanted. Ugh, disgusting energy. Ugh, okay. Uh, I also want to get some of my messages because my cards are speaking to me and there might be a message for some of you in, in here. So why does my beautiful Gemini collective here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to purge this union? Yeah, <laughs> repeating myself here. Your past situation is still in your energetic field. Change your perception. Some of you are still holding on to what was said, what was done. And I think you need just to, you need to wash your hands. There's water here. You know, you need to like, it's, I get this image of you in a bath, cleansing yourself from this person energetically, you know, with salt, salt, uh, salt bath water, salt. I can't, I can't remember words when I channel, uh, salt water, salt with salt, sea salt. Yeah. Or Epsom salts, just like cleansing your energy from this person because there's something that's sticking like this, the self-indulgent energy is still in your energetic field. Um, I'm getting some timing cards for you. So why do, does my Gemini need to purge? Okay, so it's going to take some time. The next two to eight months, I got two cards, two ca timing cards. In the next two to four months, five to eight months, uh, maybe there's two groups here. And for some of you, purging is going to take up to two to four months. For others, it's going to take up to eight. I mean, we are walking in 2020 with major transformational energy, guys. So do check out some astrologers out there. My favorite one is the Leo King. Um, it's, he's not for everybody. So if you don't want to hear the truth and you don't want to hear hardcore truth from a Leo, then don't check him out. Check out uh, maybe Coyote Astrology, Coyote Star Astrology. She's great. And also... Another one that I really like is Wonder Girl. She always comes out with great uh, content to explain what is going on. But based on my knowledge on, you know, what I've been learning is that in the next few months, in the next few months, in January, the end of December, there's going to be a major eclipse. And we are also stepping into Capricorn season in January, right? Um, the Saturn, Saturn is in Capricorn and Pluto is in Capricorn as well, and the south nodes as well, which speaks of our karma. So karmic events or karmic situations from our past are, are, are asked to be put to rest. Okay, so this is what we're saying. It, they're asking us to really purge and, and change things in our life that um, were pulling us down, were bringing us down due to karmic past events. Okay, so let's get to it. 
Sorry, I was getting another call. Stay single for now. Inner work is a must. Yeah, that's what I was picking up on. When it comes to the timing, some of you might not like to hear these messages, but for some of you, yeah, being single and really stepping into your power and finding your inner worth and self-love and working on your your wounds, working on things that are not serving you right now. So not, you know, relying and depending on another person because you've been through some serious karmic events here with this past person. Okay, so let me get some more messages here. What other information does my... I need to know in the month of December. What do they need to work on? A fresh start. Yeah, work on your fresh start. A new beginning. Okay. But I don't feel it's, it's with someone with this someone, this specific someone that we're picking up on here specifically. Okay, guys? So take the messages as they resonate. Maybe this is not your story, and that's fine. Yeah, fresh start. We got regret. You're going through a dark night of the soul. I'm sure a lot of you who've been watching a lot of YouTube and, you know, um, astrology videos or whatever, spiritual, spiritually based videos, the dark night of the soul is where we're really stepping into our dark side and our shadows and looking at what's no longer working for us. You know, why have we, why have we been attracted to that type of person all our life? You know, we went from one situation, one relationship to another, attracting the same type of person. Why? And now it's hitting us. Now we need, we're forced to go through the dark night of the soul. Where things can get a little bit dark. It's not called dark night of the soul because it's fun. Why? Because we might start regretting. And maybe you might feel, you might be feeling this in the month of December. Speaking of inner child wounding. Yes. Going back to the inner child that is wounded, that is hurt. This is why maybe you've been making those types of choices. And this is why spirit is asking you or maybe even forcing you for some of you to stay single and stay independent and go through these motions of darkness right now. Um, for some of you, I feel like you need some inspiration. Someone sees you as their muse for others. Okay, so I will show you the card. Someone sees you as their muse. Someone sees you as a source of inspiration. Some of you might be really admired, okay? And you don't even know. Some of you might not even know that you're admired and a source of someone's inspiration. Let's get one more card for that, please, Spirit. Can you... Fifth dimension. Yeah, so that's you working in the fifth dimension, in the 5D, in the spirit world, in the non-physical world. Here, you are working with someone. And that's where you are getting a source of inspiration from an energy that's in the 5D. Yes, look, vibrations. So I think they're trying to work on you in the 5D, guys. So who, who is they? Well, it's people probably from a past life that can help, that can act as a guide in the 5D, that can help you raise your vibration, that can help you balance your energy field. Because we have so much, you know, energy in this card, right? Vibration speaks of frequency. So someone is trying to tune up. There's like a tune up in your vibration that needs to be done in, in December. And that's all in the 5D. Okay, wow. This is an interesting reading. Um, what else can my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus expect for the month of December? What else can they expect? Fall. Yeah, something needs to die here. Something needs to come to an end. Fall for me speaks of endings. It's like the death card. You know, Scorpio season or, you know, the season where things are just dying. Leaves are dying. I mean, we're preparing for winter. Solitude. Can't make this stuff up, guys. It's telling you that you are going to maybe be in this dark night of the soul. And it's going to feel like some a part of you, an aspect of you of your life has died. Okay, so solitude and surrender. They're asking you, Gemini, to completely let go of the outcome, let go of the situation, let go of all these fears and these anxieties um, and these patterns that were tied to this person. Okay, so completely surrender. And com I'm hearing complete surrender to this space of solitude. 
because I know that a lot of Geminis do like to be in social circles and they need to express themselves and you know they're fast thinkers and but I think that this is what they're trying to say completely surrender to this type of energy which is all about the dark night of the soul right trust me I've been there yeah we're working on your self-worth for the month of December guys self-worth getting back to how you view yourself because if you're attracting crappy people in a deeper and spiritual sense it's saying that you don't see your worth because or else you would not and this is your barrier yeah your self-worth is what's blocking you from attaining a better life attaining a better circumstance you're being guided to do so in the month of december let's get some romance angels and see what they have to say okay what advice or what messages do you have for the month of December for my beautiful Geminis? Okay. So again, release your ex. I mean, the messages are repeating themselves from one deck to another, which is fabulous. If these are not your messages, please do not leave a comment. It will be automatically deleted. I don't have time for people that don't understand. If this is not your situation, then you can click right off. Release your ex. You've got to release this situation from the past. Finances and career. Maybe they're asking you to... I think this is self-worth for a lot of you, to be honest with you. But a lot of you do need to refocus your attention. Yeah, there's a refocus of attention towards building yourself back up again. Within your finances, within your career, within your home, within your, the tangible side of things as well. We're working on your spirit side and your, and your physical in your 3d physical side what other messages do you want my gemini's to know keep an open mind as soon as we close our minds to opportunities then new ones cannot come in your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path you are uh, on a different spiritual path right now Okay, you are being guided in the spirit world. I mean, how many cards have told us this? You're being guided in the spirit world. You have a, you have a guide here and you, you're in the fifth dimension here. You are being admired in the fifth dimension, okay? So there's something spiritual that's going on with you. And that's all about the night, the dark night of the soul. This new beginning comes with purging, my dears, okay? Let's get some... Angel answers, what do we have? Something flipped. Ask your angels. Yes, connect, guys. They are telling you desperately to connect with your angels, your guides in the, in the 5D, in the dream space. There are some messages there for some of you in dream space. That's where you connect to your five-dimensional selves. Get more information. There you go. Getting more information from your 5D selves up there in the dream space. There's something better. Ugh, we're going to end with that. That is beautiful. Opportunity. Yes. All right, guys. On that note, I am wishing you a beautiful December 2019. Please hit that like button if these messages resonated. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome. Um, you can also reach out for a personal reading. All my information is in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great month and happy holidays, Gemini. Take care.